Welcome everyone to the Can't Feel My Feet Shoe Report. Each and every week, I'll be reviewing one of the hottest sneakers that's out, whether it's a Nike, Jordan, Foreign, Adidas, you name it, I'm gonna review it. Everybody knows I'm a wheelchair user and often other individuals that require the use of a wheelchair always come up to me and ask me, what sneakers give me the best fit with the best swag? So today I'll be reviewing the Nike ID Air Force Ones. These right here is a classic. This is the Flamingo Peak pair. I decided to do Flamingo Pink because I'm going to Aruba in a few weeks. And, you know, I'm be around the Pelicans and all of that. So I said, let me go with something Flamingo. Now, it comes in a pretty cool box. I like the box. Pretty sturdy. Now, one of the cool things about these sneakers right here is that with Air Force Ones or Uptowns as we call them in New York City, especially in Brooklyn, is that they are a staple. They are a classic. So it could go down with jeans, shorts. You know, you could wear it with short socks, crew socks, high socks. Air Force Ones are pretty much good with every fit that you got. So when I designed these, I had to design them with a translucent bottom. I think the translucent bottom is pretty cool. One of the other things that I like about Nike ID is that it gives you different variations and they come quickly. So they gave me the option. I put the off-white laces, you see. And also I got Big G on the back of them. I like these a lot. I feel like they have a lot of swag. It's a lot of swag with these. Um, I got a cool outfit that I'm gonna be throwing these down with. So, on a rating of scale one to 10, you know, everybody wants to know what would I give them. I give these a solid, a solid nine. I was, they don't get a 10, but because I designed them myself, they're not at a seven or a six, they definitely at a nine, because the colorway is definitely dope, along with, you know, the lace variation. I think it really makes the flamingo pink pop out. Um, another thing I like about them is that, you know, when you're not at walking, you're not gonna get creases. So I don't have to worry about the creases or anything like that. So they're gonna stay crispy, which is important. You know, you don't wanna have one nasty looking kicks. Um, another thing, so for swag, they definitely had a nine point, I wanna give it a 9.2. I want to give it a 9.2 for swag. Um, comfort, well, I don't get spasms when I wear Air Force Ones. So for comfort, I'm going to give these a definitely a solid 9. You know, I don't want to give a 10 because there's 10s out there. But Air Force Ones are one of the closest things to perfect when it comes to footwear. Um, I like the design of the box. The design of the box, you know, it's not really generic. So they really put it together nicely. So I guess the box even could get a rating. And I'll give the box, because it says Nike by Garrison, the box is a 10. This is a good, good box. It's nice and sturdy. I love the pull-out boxes. You know, they stay crispy for a lot longer. You don't have to worry about discoloration or none of that. So the box is definitely a 10. Um... Also, durability. Um, now, one thing about Air Force Ones, they aren't the most durable sneakers, especially the white on whites, which I'll be reviewing at a later time. So for durability, I would give Air Force Ones about a seven. They're not the most durable sneakers. Uh, there's a lot of other sneakers out there that you could pretty much do anything you want in and nothing will happen, nothing will occur. So yeah, swag, about a 9.2. Durability, a seven. Comfort, a nine. I think these are a good buy. So, you know, one of the things that I do like about Nikes in particular is the removable inner sole. I think that's also important for individuals out there with disabilities because they may need to put on certain type of orthotics or prosthetics, whatever the case may be. So you may need your sneaker a little bit wider or just a half size bigger. So with the removable inner soles, that's always a plus. So one of the things I'm going to tell Nike is to keep that up. 
Also with ease of putting on, that's another important rating. And with ease of putting on, I think I'm gonna give that around a, for these particular sneakers, since there's a lot of lace, you know, lacing and everything involved, that would probably be a 6.5, just because there's individuals out there that may have difficulties tying their laces. Um, me in particular, I don't really tie my shoestrings, but, and I, you know, pretty independent where I don't really need much assistance to get on my footwear, but there's individuals out there that need and require a little more assistance. So I'm looking out for them too. So I would say these are about a 6.5. However, if you know, if you got that ability to just throw your kicks right on, then yeah, that's a 10. But you know, each and every week I'm come back, I'm gonna showcase some of the hottest sneakers that's out. And I hope everybody stay tuned and enjoy the Can't Feel My Feet shoe report. Holla at me.